All right, guys, let the best of 2019 videos begin. This first one comes at the request of Patreon supporter Ian, who wanted to know my top five scores and soundtracks of the year. So let's do it right now. Kicking it off with Wild Rose. You've all likely heard me mention this before, but I love Wild Rose. And the songs in it are key to the title character's journey in the film. I think Jessie Buckley is one of the most exciting revelations of 2019, and she is excellent in Wild Rose. I truly do believe that she deserves to be in the Best Actress group this year, but sadly, I don't think that's gonna happen. She just brings such raw emotion, passion, and sensitivity to Rosalind throughout the entire movie and a lot of that comes through in the music as well. It's a soundtrack I can no doubt listen to over and over again, but in particular, if the song Glasgow doesn't get a Best Original Song nomination, I'm going to be so, so bummed about that. Hands down, one of the most beautiful songs of the year in film or otherwise, and Buckley just gives a powerhouse performance singing it and singing every single song in the movie for that matter. Now it is on to the score from Loose from Ben Salisbury and Jeff Barrow. The main track of Loose, Skyhooker, has been stuck in my head ever since my first viewing of the movie back in January at Sundance. This is a very challenging movie that doesn't give you any easy answers, and I think Salisbury and Barrow's score really does well reflect the complexity of Luce's situation, whether it's the intensity and maybe even the rage of a track like Skyhooker, or the sensitivity and sadness in Luce's theme. And a key component of Luce is that the tension just builds and builds and builds until a really explosive finish, and the score here intensifies that quite a bit. Now we are on to my number three pick, and that honor goes to Joker. Joker made me feel like I got hit by a truck on my first viewing, as I imagine it might have been intended to, but I'm very happy that I got to squeeze in multiple rewatches before the end of the year, because those gave me the opportunity to really focus on some of the spectacular work done by specific departments, like the score here. My very good friend from Iceland, Erlinger, tried to help me pronounce the composer's last name, but I failed, and I don't want to butcher it right now, so I'll stick with her first. He'll do with the tracks, Call Me Joker and Bathroom Dance. You've got some of the most powerful tunes of the year, unforgettable, and it's in the movie or when you're just playing them on their own. And when I have listened to them outside of the actual feature film, they just bring me right back to those particular moments they're attached to. But in general, her work here is so vital to one of Joker's greatest strengths, its atmosphere. I am just really rooting for her to get that Oscar nomination this year. But now we gotta move on to my number two pick. It's Avengers Endgame. Alan Silvestri really nails every track and every moment of this movie. It really is super cool seeing all of these fan favorite MCU characters in action. And at one point, I even happily watched the film in complete silence off of somebody else's TV screen on an airplane. And it still played extremely well, but that partial viewing of the movie also further highlighted to me the value and importance of Silvestri's work in the movie, especially with Endgame being a concluding chapter for this long running series. There are so many tracks that harken back to previous installments, either through style or by updating familiar themes. And that brings me to what I think is the crown jewel of the score, Portals. It's got such a great, truly chill-inducing build that perfectly blends into the familiar Avengers theme. I really do think that the score in that moment is such a key factor in making that epic scene one of the best of the year and maybe one of the best of all time. That now brings me to my number one pick. It's going to one of my favorite movies of the year, which is now my favorite score of the year officially. It is the score for us. A good deal of my marathon training was set to the tune of Michael Abels' work on this movie, specifically the track Pa De Do. The strings in that one, and also the booming horns, I believe, that kick in when it really amps up is just electric. And there's so much highly effective foreboding material at the beginning. Home Invasion is crazy unnerving. Then you've got the use of I Got Five on it, which is unforgettable. And Overall, Abel's work really suits what I love about Jordan Peele films. They're super stylish, unique to him, and they also exude confidence. And this score to me has those exact same qualities, which is part of the reason why I love it. 
There you guys go. Those are my favorite scores and soundtracks of 2019. Weigh in with your own in the comment section below. Big thanks to Ian for suggesting this video. I have so much more best of 2019 coverage coming your way real soon. So keep an eye on the YouTube channel. Bye guys.